You've been tough on Hillary Clinton lately. Uh, you kind of teed off on her saying that essentially the party should not be anointing a front runner at this stage. And, and you've also talked a little bit about the email, but you've really been rather noncommittal. Do you think she's not the right person? Well, I think the most important thing is that as a Democratic Party, we have full and open debates and let the people decide. It's not for any one person or any one group of people to decide. We need to talk about the ideas that face our country. And what I've said is that talking about emails is not the same as having a debate about the issues that people care most about around their kitchen table. How are they going to afford to send their kids to college? How are they going to pay their bills? These are the things we need to talk about, how to get wages to move up and not down. And uh, so, yes, I am hard on the party. I think we should have debates. I think this is not a time to limit debates. And right now, we're letting the Republicans fill up the airwaves with their falsehoods and their versions of our country's future. We have a better way. A little bit more about Hillary Clinton. Yesterday, she likened the Republican Party to terrorists on women's issues. Uh, these have been seen as some strong words. What's your view of that? Would you go that far? Well, there's a lot of strong words coming out of the Republican Party. And but I, would you go that far? I don't think... I, I have learned that... Uh, uh, I have learned that, um, you know, the... Uh, uh, infusing any sort of analogies uh, with the word terrorism is something that we should all be very cautious and restrained in ever doing. Uh, and I learned that the hard way. Uh, but I will say th is this, though. All of us have a responsibility, candidates in both parties, to push back against the sort of hate speech, the racism that the current leader of the Republican PAC puts forward against people of a whole ethnic group of Americans. If we don't, shame on us. We need to push back against this. The scapegoating of new American immigrants is, uh, is appalling. It is dangerous, and it, it creates an atmosphere where uh, worse things can happen. Bernie Sanders, you're in a competition with him, and uh, one of the questions that arises is uh, the disconnect or the difference between you and Sanders on the issue of gun control. Um, he comes from Vermont, which is a state that has a lot of guns between both Democrats and Republicans. What's the, what's the difference between you and Bernie Sanders on gun control? Well, there's a big difference. I mean, both of our states have hunting traditions and value our open space and conservation lands. But in our state, I actually led the fight to pass comprehensive gun safety legislation that required background checks, um, outlawed uh, the sale of assault combat weapons. I feel very firmly that this is a reasonable step for us to take to save more lives. And I, I don't believe that that is the uh, position of uh, Senator Sanders. Sanders is uh, looking pretty strong in Iowa. Um, and a recent poll suggested that about 75 percent of the Democratic voters there didn't know who you are, uh, aren't sure uh, about uh, Governor O'Malley because they're not familiar with him. Why is it that you're not breaking through? Well, I think that will come. I, I smile because that means that 25 percent of people now know who I am. <laughs> and <laughs> 70 days ago, only 1 percent of people knew who I was.